Okay, welcome to Theorem 2, and this is the test for concavity, okay? So Theorem 2 states, let f be a function that is twice differentiable. So that just means that you can differentiate the function twice, so you can get the second derivative. So let f be a function that is twice differentiable over an interval i. 1. If the second derivative of x is greater than 0 for all x in the interval i, then f is concave up. 2. If the second derivative of x is negative, less than 0, for all x in the interval i, then f is concave down over i. Now, <clears throat> the um, so this gives us a way to show concavity over an interval, um, but also we have to realize that, you know, since this, these are continuous curves, that these curves can switch from concave up to concave down, okay? So, and if you think about it, since these are differentiable and, and continuous, then we know that that can only happen at points where the second derivative is going to be either zero or, or undefined. Which leads us to a test because those points where a curve goes from concave up to concave down are called inflection points. And so then now this gives us something to use, something to look forward to or to kind of think about as far as a test for finding uh, these inflection points where the graph will change from concave up to concave down. Okay, so we'll talk more about that next time.